to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, to you Lord, Lord, Lord Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Well, good morning and welcome to All Saints Sunday. What a great day. What a great day and what a great celebration this is to be. And what a great day to, to be here. And so All Saints, as is, is, we know, is one of the great baptismal feasts of the liturgical year in the church calendar. And over the centuries, All Saints has come to be recognized as one of the holiest days on that same liturgical calendar. But remember this as we get going today. Remember this is that All Saints <coughs> is not about those honored, remembered holy ones in days past, those time-honored saints whose witness and service are well known, those people who had saint attached before their first name, like Saint Peter, Saint Paul. There's Mary, there's John, there's Andrew, I think Matthew is over here, Anthony is back there, and, uh, and a couple others along the way as well. But remember, all saints remember other saints. So just who are those other saints that we celebrate? Well, you and me, for starters. That's right. You say that I'm a saint? Well, good heavens, how can I be a saint? Anybody who is a follower of Jesus by virtue of being that way makes you a saint, one who is in all the saints. You, you are honored in the sight of God. Any and every Christian is that way. Saint. Okay, my voice is just going to have to carry it up. How about that? There we go. Now, as I was saying, saint is just another word for Christian. Any and every Christian. The first Christians, for that matter, they called each other saints, followers of Jesus, disciples. That's all of us. So all saints is for all Christians, past, present, famous, infamous, yes, known and unknown, for anyone who has ever, ever been a follower of Jesus. And the day that we honor the faith that we have shared with those, all of those, now, past, present, and in ages past, it is a high and holy calling to be numbered among the saints. A high and holy calling, even if we had our feet planted squarely on the ground. Stop and think about it for a minute. In every way, it, any Sunday is, is kind of an all saint Sunday. And by that I mean whenever we sing hymns, we read from Scripture, we gather together around the altar, we pray or we preach, we are doing so with all the saints. We are depending upon those who have gone before us to give us the words, to tell us the stories, to teach us the family values of a community of faith, whereby in those values we praise the Lord, we grow in faith and commitment, and we find the way that leads to God and our reunion with all the saints in heaven. Saints are those who even now are learning the value of faith and friendship, values that we share here. 
Saints are those that even now are learning that a community of faith is where we can be accepted for who we are in the present moment as fellow travelers on the way to heaven by the grace of God. Saints are those who are gathered around God's altar now and in the world to come. And remember this too. Heaven is not a place, not where heaven itself is honored. Heaven is not even a goal or a prize as a result of living a human life. But heaven is a place where God is loved, worshipped, and adored. Heaven is where God is, and God is certainly here. So you begin to learn that we can get glimpses of heaven even now. Heaven is the place where the saints, all the saints, remember, are honored in grace, and truth, and love. Heaven, here, right here, is this place where we become as God intended for us to be all along. Now our mission as saints is to bring the world into heaven. And our mission as saints to encourage each other along that way. So then, just what are those family values that I mentioned just a few minutes ago? What are those family values of all the saints for all of us? Well, Jesus tells us that we are blessed. We are so very blessed. But, this is important here, we are blessed in ways that are radical, blessed in ways that are countercultural. We are blessed in ways that are counterintuitive. Blessed are you who are poor in spirit. In other words, blessed are you when you get to the end of your road. With less of you, you will have more of God for you. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. In other words, blessed are you when you are content with just who you are, nothing more and nothing less. At that moment, you will be proud owners of anything that cannot be bought. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. In other words, blessed are you when you care. At that moment of being careful, full of care, you will find yourselves cared for by the Holy One. Blessed are the merciful. In other words, blessed are you when you get your inside world, your heart and your mind. When you get that put right, then you can see God in the world out there and in the people out there as well. Blessed are the peacemakers. In other words, blessed are you when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete or fight. That's when you discover just who you really are in your place, in God's family. You are blessed with your love of God provokes persecution. That persecution will only drive you deeper into God. These are among our family values. And today, we welcome one new saint, Miles Anthony Grooms, into this family of faith, this way of God. And we welcome him by the sacrament of holy baptism. Remember also that this family of faith is far bigger than this one child, parents or godparents. This family of all the saints is far bigger than this community, St. Peter's and Elegant City. This family of faith is far bigger than even the Episcopal Church. The family of faith into which Miles is baptized includes, as I said, all Christians, past and present. All Christians, known and unknown. Christians who are obviously saintly, and some who are not quite that way. And on all saints, we remember that we are as close to all those saints, to all those Christians, those, of, those who have gone before us, so as close to them as we are as close to each other today. Baptism in particular, and all saints, which we celebrate today as a reminder, as one noted Jesuit once said, is that we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings who happen to be having a human experience. In God's name. Amen. Amen.